Welcome and thank you for joining us. It's Thursday, January 7th, 2021, and this is brought to you by the Community Presbyterian Church in Payson. I invite you to take a minute to pre prepare yourself to worship, pray, and meditate on the Lord's Word. Find a comfortable spot, breathe deep, and know that you are loved. Today is the day after Epiphany, which means manifestation or revelation. At the Epiphany of the Lord, we celebrate the manifestation of God's saving purpose to the world. Just as the Magi came from a distant land to worship the Christ child, God's covenant of grace is extended to all people who believe the good news of Jesus Christ. The symbolism of light is important not only because of the star that guided the magi but as it suggests the dawning of god's self-revelation in jesus christ as christians we are called to bear christ's light in the world our opening verse comes from isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 3 and 6. arise Shine, for your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Nations shall come to your light, and rulers to the brightness of your dawn. They shall come from Sheba, bearing gold and incense, singing the praise of God. Our morning hymn, What Star Is This With Beams So Bright?, is from the Glory to God Presbyterian Hymnal and is found on page 152. What star is this with beams so bright, more lovely than the noon daylight? Tis sent to announce a newborn king, glad tidings of our God to bring. Tis now fulfilled what God decreed, from Jacob shall a star proceed, and lo, the eastern sages stand to read in heaven the Lord's command. While outward signs the star displays, an inward light the Lord conveys and urges them with tender might to seek the giver of the light. O Jesus, while the star of grace impels us on to seek your face. Let not our slothful hearts refuse the guidance of your life to use. <coughs> Excuse me. Let us pray. O oh Lord, our God, we give you thanks for the wonder and love you offer us through the gift of our baptism. Your word made flesh among us a child and a savior born to us. Good news of great joy for all. By the power of your Holy Spirit, poured out upon us in baptism, let us be born anew from above so that we may give glory to you and live as your beloved children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The psalm for this morning is Psalm 72, verses 1 through 7 and 10 through 14. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the hills in righteousness. Let him defend the needy among the people, rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. May he live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. Let him come down like rain upon the mown field 
like showers that water the earth. In his time, may the righteous flourish and let there be an abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river Euphrates to the ends of the earth. May the kings of Tarshish and the isles pay tribute and the kings of Sheba and Seba offer gifts. May all kings bow down before him and all the nations do him service. For the king delivers the poor who cry out in distress, the oppressed and those who have no helper. He has compassion on the lowly and poor and preserves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence, he redeems their lives and precious is their blood in his sight. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave the kingdom of justice and peace to your servant David. Extend to every nation the dominion of our Lord Jesus, David's son, so that in the light of his reign, the poor may receive justice and all the people of the earth may dwell in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, verses 2, 1 through 12. I am reading from the New International Reader's Version of the Bible. Listen for the Word of God. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. This happened while Herod was king of Judea. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the child who has been born to the king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about it, he was very upset. Everyone in Jerusalem was troubled too. So Herod called together all the chief priests of the people. He also called the teachers of the law. He asked them where the Messiah was going to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied. This is what the prophet has written. He said, but you Bethlehem, in the land of Judah are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people Israel like a shepherd. This is from Micah chapter five, verse two. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men. He found out from them exactly when the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem. He said, go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report it to me. Then I can go and worship him too. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their country on a different road. The mystery of the ages revealed to all. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. All powerful and unseen God, the coming of your light into the world has brightened weary hearts with peace. Teach us to proclaim the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Lord Jesus, unconquer unconquered light, your power has dawned upon the world with transforming love. Grant that we greet you on this joyful morning, may be found faithful at the day's end, and in that final day, be gathered with all your children to that city whose light is the radiance of your face. For you reign in splendor now and forever. Amen. Please join in the Lord's Prayer using whatever words are comfortable for you. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us go into our day with the words from Isaiah 60, verse 1. Let us rise and shine, for our light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon us. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Amen. Amen.